ready? Ready. What's up everybody? Today is Saturday, July 25th. We really had nothing to do today, so we wanted to see what Disney hotels are like during COVID. So we're gonna take a little staycation. There's a brand new hotel, the JW Marriott at Bonnet Creek. It just literally opened up a couple weeks ago, July 1st. Now that the parks are open, we just wanted to see what it's like to stay there. Let's do this. What do you think? Should we buy a bottle first? She got her Yeti cup ready. By the way, Bonnet Creek is actually on Disney property. They also have a Wyndham and the Waldorf Astoria right in that same area. So it's super close. It's one of those days when I just want fries by the pool. In about 15 minutes, we made it to Bonnet Creek, Chelonia Parkway. There is a Hilton, a Waldorf, and a Wyndham. At the very end is the JW Marriott. It has quite an entrance. We were super excited, but didn't know what to expect. Bellman service was offered, but valet parking was closed. So right now it's only self-parking, which makes sense. So we're gonna go down. There we go, self-parking. Ticket cannot be issued at the moment. Oh. I just realized that they already gave me my parking stub. Just park the car and there's a elevator that takes you straight to the lobby. It looks pretty nice. You can tell that it's super brand new. It smells like a new house in here. There she is. You check in already? Yeah, let's go. You wanna go to the room or you wanna walk around? Let's yeah. just go to the room. I got free champagne. Nice. Yeah. The decor and architecture is very chic and modern with low profile contemporary furniture. This JW is more of a convention conference type of hotel. It has more of an adult feel to it. Being on Disney property, this is an escape on its own. Yes, the bar was open. They even had little signs on the table telling you that it's been sanitized. Masks were mandatory and the necessary precautions were practiced. Even the fitness center was temporarily closed but there was hardly anybody around. We made it to our floor without even passing a single guest. The room was brand new, modern and spacious and up to date with high-speed Wi-Fi, plug-in panels and a flat screen TV. You guys do that too? The bathroom was also exceptionally spacious with a tub, a large shower and water closet. Mary was ready to get the weekend started. And so was I. Woo! I'm gonna take that call. For those of you in real estate know, you never really have a day off. 3016. Okay, thank you. All right, no problem. Who's that? Client. They want to gain access to a home. Yes, what time is the pool closed? 10 p.m. At 10 p.m.? Yeah. And also, what restaurants are open within the hotel? Yeah, so right now we do have a unreserved beer garden open until 5 p.m. And then we have our Series C lobby restaurant that will be open from 4 to 10. Do you have to make reservations for that? We do not. Great. Thank you so much. My pleasure. Have a great day. You too. So I think we're gonna hit that restaurant tonight and check it out and uh, we'll let you know how it is. In the meantime, we're gonna go check out the pool. There is a fridge! Oh, check this out. It's a PPE welcome kit. It's got a disposable sterile face mask and two alcohol sanitizing pads. Thanks, COVID. Ooh, the rug is brand new. We can go downstairs and get our champagne. It was time to hit the pool there was only a handful of people around. The pool area was modern, luxurious, and full of palm trees and social spaces. There's a zero entry main pool on one side and a more private one on the other. The water was inviting. And Mary got her fries by the pool, which we ordered takeout from the lobby since the pool bar and grill was closed. 
literally there is nobody here. Nobody. It kind of feels like we have a whole place for ourselves. Which Mary's awesome. starting to feel the Prosecco. It's just unheard of for Florida, Midsummer, Disney Hotel. So if there's anybody local watching this, come check it out. After the pool, it was time for dinner. All right, get ready. You get ready, you take longer than me. That's not always true. It was super casual, so we were ready in no time. You ready? Let's go. So right now is dinner time. You gotta make sure you have your mask on. But they do have a restaurant downstairs, which is right there. There's also a bar, and they have a full menu, so you can sit down, eat, drink, but we're gonna try to see if we can eat at this restaurant. So an update, that restaurant is actually closed. You are able to sit by the bar, which is fine. I'm easy like Sunday morning. There's no chairs inside, but there is an outdoor seating area, a lounge kind of feel, which is really nice. I'm looking forward to it. They have an array of different options. I think she's gonna be going with the grilled wings and the octopus. I don't know, I'm between the uh, pastrami sandwich or the burger. Cheers, Ben. The food finally arrived and everything looked wonderful. We were so hungry from being at the pool all day. I ordered the pastrami sandwich. I got the octopus, the wings, and some fish with mac and cheese. Nom nom. Their pastrami sandwich was our favorite, and everything else was good too. And if you have enough room for dessert, you gotta try the creme brulee cheesecake. How's it? Yeah, it's pretty damn good. All right, good night, that's it. Morning had come and it was time to check out. All right, ready to check out? Surprisingly, we were hungry, but the only thing open downstairs was the JW Market which only had coffees, teas, juices, and snacks. We had a great stay, and when this is all over, we'll have to come back to get the full experience, because there's so much more that this resort has to offer. Really, thank you so much. Love it. it was time for Sunday Fun Day, so we headed to brunch at Santiago's Bodega, a Key West original tapas restaurant known for their brunch special with unlimited mimosas and sangrias. From the family-style brunch menu, we ordered scrambled eggs, brown sugar bacon and sausage links, prime rib, leg of lamb, and snow crabs. For sides, we had the sauteed green beans and potatoes au gratin, which was our favorite. Mary was also able to squeeze in some yogurt parfait and griddle cakes. We were stuffed, and it was time to head back home. Thank you, babe. Cheers! Cheers to another great weekend.